Hi everyone! So today I just wanted to do a little haul video for um, my stationery or like stationery stuff. I think this is going to be a compilation of just a bunch of stuff that I get in the somewhat um, near future. So um, I wanted to start off with a few presents that I had got. Um, everything was already opened before I decided decided to film this video so um yeah let's keep that in mind um so i, I just want to show you because i already took it out of the packaging but i got the avery um the, these avery holographic reusable tabs and these are so nice and pretty i always see them in other people's planners and i just wanted to try them they are so pretty. And then I also got the big ones, which I already took out the packaging and put it into this mint can. So there's that. Um, here is how it looks in my journal currently. Okay, and since I already have this in frame, I guess I will just show you it um i had bought this oops let's zoom out a little bit i got this hobonichi journal cover um this is in the color strawberry biscuit it's very cute um lots of pockets everywhere and as you can see here the little little bookmarks now my only i think my only problem with this is that it doesn't look like the picture like this is definitely a lot more purpley than um than what it had why i seen in the picture so yeah and i'm also getting a hobonichi cover on cover this is a cover on cover from one of my other journals that i've ordered off of etsy so yeah there's this now back to the presents that i had gotten um so my boyfriend had gotten me all these things including the avery tabs um so yeah he got me this pack of 48 stickers from amazon and it's very cute oh my god this packaging is so long so we have a lot of different stickers here super 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 cute and these are all like pt type stickers or like clear backing type stickers this away. and then he had gotten me the 12 pack of the clean color dots so i'm super super excited to use these so yeah let's just actually just take them out right now and put some super nice to have they're also different in lengths really enjoy these um and as you can see here i have a canon ivy which i am very excited for and then he also got me um 50 sheets 50 of the refillable zinc sheets so there's that and i already took it out of the packaging and decorated it a little bit so let's just zoom you guys in so you can see very very cute i love it so much and it's also super easy to use i got it in the color slate gray that is pretty much everything that i have got in so far um but i will be adding more clips to this video so that it's longer and you can see more stuff that i have gotten so yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip hello everyone i just wanted to show you guys um these little sticker books that i got and both of them are in an a5 size so they're pretty nice and they're spiral bound as you can see and it's just a reusable sticker book. It's double-sided sticker paper, which is really nice. And it's super compact, so 
so yeah so I just got these two sticker books off of Amazon they were around like I think nine dollars hi everyone so um I have an Amazon package today um this is packed very well so I have ordered two things I just pre-opened the box and everything so that my address wouldn't be shown um first here I have a Hobonichi cover on cover so that means I can take this off of my Hobonichi because this is not an actual Hobonichi branded cover on cover. This one just came with one of my other journals, journal covers. So put that to the side and put it back in my other journal in a second. And let me just open this because while we're here, I might as well put it on. All right. Let me put this to the side as well. So, um, as you can see, it's Hobonichi branded. Hobonichi branded. Oops, what is this? Oh, this piece opens because the back of the Hobonichi journals, there is extra storage space right here. So, let's just slip it on. All right, so here's the Hobonichi cover on cover. As you can see here, there's the branding. Here's the branding of this journal. And yeah, and this piece is like, it closes and you can go in, put your stuff in there. Here's the cover on cover. And then um, this package, which I ordered on Amazon Prime Day because it was a good price. All of these, I think it's like 28 containers. And I'm using all of these for stickers. Let's see. Let's put the boxes over there. There's three different sizes. So here's a size one, and then we have a size two, and then let's get out this size three. Size three is really tiny. I think this is the perfect size for stickers. So the largest is about about like almost four and a half inches and then about like three and a half or not three and a half three and one third I think and then the depth is about an inch oops so it's about an inch of depth depth the first and second and then as you can see the tiny one not that deep um, these are pretty tiny and they are a lot tinier than I had thought they would be, but they still were for stickers. So here, let me compare them. This here is one of the photo boxes from Michael's and they're pretty big compared to this. And here is one of the photo boxes from Shein. And this is this is a lot thicker, and but it is smaller. So let me try putting some stickers into here. So these are some of the office stickers, and if I remember to, I will link literally everything down below. So this is a hundred stickers, and they fit perfectly with extra room. Um. 
here are the Bob Burger ones. And this is also 100 stickers. I will link it down below. Oops. So these fit perfectly. The large, like, water bottle type stickers, these fit perfectly. And then, um, I have this storage case from the Dollar Tree. And let's just fit some sticker flakes into here. So here are these little duck ones. Let me zoom you guys in. These little duck ones that I've almost finished using up. They fit in there perfectly. So Honestly, these are all really just perfect for sticker flakes. Um, probably not for anything else though, just because they are really tiny. And then in here we can fit some larger type sticker flakes. There is 28 stickers, or not 28 stickers, 28 of these boxes in the set. Um, and it comes in three sizes, and they're all clear. I think they have the frosted color too, like a frosted plastic, but I bought the clear ones. So, yeah, that is all for this little haul, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Alright, hello. So, I got a sheen package here, it's open, and we're just going to pull out... Some stuffers. All right, here we have. I ordered these boxes, and I already have a few of them, so that's how I know that they're good. I'm not sure what this piece of raised plastic is, but it's on all of them, so. But this, it, this doesn't really bother me. Um, it has this little hanging piece off. This little hanging piece, which I usually cut off and just open it like that. And these are really useful. And I bought three of them for just storing all of my stickers. So there's that. So this is... Oh, this color is bright. This is um, a sticker folder. And here's the elastic band. And what you do is you just fold it like this, fold it like this, and then here you go. It just conceals. It's like a little little binder. So quite a few amount of pages. So it has about like 30 pages. And I'm sure you can do a front or put two in the same slit. So you have the front and back. So I'm honestly going to say uh, you can store up to like 60 sheets in here and it's just for like sheets like these these little Korean deco stickers oh. it's pretty much just a photo album here you go here we go and it comes in a random color and I got this bright yellowy orange Okay. All right. Um, I also had gotten some phone cases. So let's open this up. So this is a set. 
I think it was like two dollars for both of them and these are so cute look at them it's like a little it's like rubbery but the print on it feels very it's like raised um and I, I think it's like well I don't know but I think it is good material it's not scratching or anything so look at it so cute um I got the same you can just see the package. I got the same design as the two set, um, but in a different size. This one's a 12 iPhone 12 Pro. And then I got this one. This is also super cute. Look how cute. Once again, it's like rubber, but the print on these is really nice and high quality, so I'm sure, I mean, I don't know how much protection it is for your phone, but I'm sure just the print would last a good while. Um, and it's little, little bumps. I really like the shape. I think it's so cute. Alright, so now we have just a bunch of stickers. I got a bunch of stickers because I wanted these larger ones to decorate with because um, I have a lot of small sticker flakes but I just wanted a few big ones to help me fill up pages faster. Hey everyone, it's Editing Kelly here. I just wanted to pop in and say that uh, I had to speed up this part of the video because it just took up so much chunk of the already really long video so feel free to slowly like scroll on the bottom of the screen and look at all the stickers if that's what you wanted to see um all these stickers are big stickers they're like big water bottle type vinyl stickers so if you like that type of stickers and you'll really enjoy these um most of them are matte but a few of them are shiny stickers and I really like all the designs. I think all of the designs are pretty cute and I can't wait to use them. So yeah, once again, these are from Shein. I bought a few packs of them and they're all really, really, really cute and nice and high quality. They're also really thick. So if you enjoy those type of stickers, then you'll enjoy these. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just get back to the original voice video. So yeah, that is all. Um, I have a, another package coming in tomorrow, so with the magic of editing, um, I will be showing you that haul in a few seconds. Alright, so I have another Amazon package here. Um, I ordered two of these Moterm covers. Not Moterm, Midori covers. I got two of these Midori covers, and they are in the size A5, and I use these for literally all of my journals. So I just got two more. And then I got this set of Hobonichi Techo A5 like memo pads. And it comes with, comes, oops, it comes with three in a yellow, gray, and blue. So, let's take a look at these to make sure all the grid is the same color. It's a gray grid, gray dotted grid. I'm just making sure they're all the same color because I don't really know. Um, but I got this because this pa these pages are perforated so there's a line right down here and you're supposedly able to easily rip it yep so it easily comes off and i got this because i wanted the paper to look like hobonichi paper because i also got a Hobonichi Cousin Avec, an A5. I am a month late to this, so I'm going to be starting it in August, just because I have my July journal in a different notebook right now. 
comes with the little pamphlet thing. So, it's a very pretty blue. It's a cardstock cover. And my plan for this was I'm just going to try to continue the rest of the year in an EVEC um, to save money because usually I buy journals and it only lasts me like two months and um, these journals are pretty expensive or like the price adds up and so one time flat fee for the rest of the year sounds pretty, pretty good. Um, my only problem is that they are only daily pages and that is a problem to me because sometimes I like doing two pages so that's where I bought this comes in where I could just tip in some pages and have extra writing space. Now I did want to buy the um, A5 memo pad. Um, by Hobonichi, but the pages weren't perforated, which was the whole point why I wanted the memo pads so that it would be easy to tear and just tip in. Um, because I knew that I knew that I would be make adding a lot of tip ins and stuff for my day because I do like to add lots of pictures and lots of packaging. I'm just going to put on this Midori cover. Um, so I know I like to put on or put in a lot of tippins and stuff, but I don't know. I, would, I, I know that I wanted extra space to write in case that I want to write more than just one page which sometimes I do 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 <laughs> I do um, write two pages per day so I wanted to have the option and not be limited all right there we go all right let's, okay this is not going down all right so now I have my Midori cover on it. Um, I'm super excited. And I have, I think uh, I already have some plans for where everything needs to go. Because I do like using habit trackers and memory keeping. And obviously I can't do that in the daily, daily sections. And this one page is not enough space for me so I think I figured out what I do need to buy is some tabs for the ends of the what do you call these ends of the paper here so that I know when it changes months um, and I am going to be decorating the cover but I think I'm going to do that in another video all right I have another Amazon package here today um, it delivered quite late like almost eight o'clock so I'm trying to film this video before the sun goes down so I got a um, I think they're called gooseneck tripods because the tripod that I had originally bought for filming it was just not working well for me and you could always see the tripod legs when I filmed at a down angle and overall it was just too big to film comfortably with my setup so I got this this other tripod lazy bracket has this little instruction book and I got it because I saw that it was on sale so I couldn't resist a good price so we have what is this don't pull the arm by horse please press the button to unfold arm 
So I got one of these. I have a press button. What does this say? Um, press button. Hold the arm, press the button, adjust the angle. Okay. Here we go. And then here bends like this is like a strong wire inside and then here is another sticker and this just tells us how to open this so you press the button right here and you just pull out this opens pretty wide so it has a little clip right here where if you're charging your phone or your tablet or anything, you can just clip it onto right here. And then I'm just assuming you twist this to get the ball moving. Yep. So there's another twisting here. There's so many parts and contraptions. Um, I don't know what this is for. Does this just make it taller or is this unscrewing it? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. And then here is the, um, I guess the, it's a magnetic little camera button where you set up with your phone and you just press it to record or take a picture or anything. And how do I get this clamp? Do you unscrew this? Oh, you do. So that moves. And there's like foam here. So that's good. And then, so then this is just make it longer. Like, what is, I don't know what this one is. All right, but yeah, this is really good. Let me just hold it up again. Oop. This is a really strong bending thing. All right, so that is all for this Amazon package. Hi everyone, welcome to the last part of the haul. Um, this is the last clip for the whole haul video. Um, so first, let's just start with this. So, my boyfriend had got me a mushroom cover. Well, I chose it, and then he bought it and paid for me. So, it was super nice. It was part of my birthday gift, which was, the rest of my birthday gifts was filmed earlier in this video. Um, so, let's just get this open. So, I did get this in a A5 size. I have the B6, and I have a Weeks Moterm but I wanted an A5 one. So here she is. She's very cute. Um, I'm not sure if it's showing up correctly, the color on camera, but it's like an olive green. It's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna add in my current journal since we're in here right now. So let me just get it out of this other cover my current journal. It's how chunky this is so far. And let's just slip it right in like that. And there you go. That's pretty much how it fits and then you can buckle it that's a lot nicer than just having like the Hobonichi ones just open. Um, 
I think that I'm able to use the second snap. I mean, I can use the first snap, but I think the second snap is more comfortable. So let's see if we can zoom you guys out a little bit to look. Hopefully that isn't blurry or anything. But yeah, so that's how that looks. Super cute. It fits my beautifully chunked up journal. I think that I also want to get a Mosherm in the burnt orange color just because it is so pretty. So there's that. Um, and let's just look at the rest of the gifts. That my boyfriend had got me for my birthday because it was like split up into like two days of like what he got me or I've received them in separate days so I received the rest today so we went to this stationery store downtown called um, Omoe Zaka I think that's how you pronounce it and it's um, a, sto a Japanese I'm guessing it's a Japanese stationery store they had a lot of um, other famous Japanese stationery brands Here's the like little shop sticker. Here, let me zoom you guys in. There you go. And they're an official Traveler's Notebook store. So I just got a stamp, the official partner shop for the Traveler's Company. So I got a stamp. Um, and this is in my Hobonichi notebook, but or Hobonichi memo pad notebook so I can just easily tear it out and journal. So yeah, here's my little haul from that. This, I mean, stationery has like always been quite expensive, but all I'm saying is that I think my total was like $50 for all this stuff. Um, so it's kind of pricey, but it's all like name brand like stuff. So first, or no, let's look at the Kitawashi tapes. So this was what I was most excited to get because I've been really wanting, why does this have tape at the back? Or tape on the front, okay, whatever. Um, so I've been really excited to try it. And this was the pack that I was looking for when I went it's super cute. Oops, it's kind of like smushed. Because I think I was carrying a lot of stuff in my bag, so it got smushed. And then I also have this set. This set is called um, Moonlight. And this one is called a Pop. And Pop is the one that I was really looking forward to getting. Um, I also got three washi tape. This one's by... Uh, Yusuke Yanoizu. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this one's really cute. It, I don't really, I don't, I don't think I have any like washi tape that looks like this, so I wanted to get it. Well, I it's not washi paper, it's clear tape, and it's like super cute though. Let's see if I can peel it up so I can get it for you guys. Like, look how freaking cute that is. Oh, I think they're perforated too. Yeah, I think they are, which is even better. Oh my god. Let me roll it back onto the roll. So. These is super cute. They had a few more other options of this same like clear tape. So I'm not sure you can see it, but like right here it has a little line and I think it's perforated. So, yep, super easy, super cute. It's kind of like the Kitawashi tape. All right, let me put this off to the side. So love this. And then I got this mast, masty, maste tape, and this was super cute. These were about like six, so it was like this one was like about seven dollars. This one's about five, and these were six, and this one was like eight fifty. So there's the prices, 
And this is my first time having a masked washi tape. Mm, I'm not sure how I like with the like the paper. It's kind of weird. Um, so here's the colors. It's kind of like um like cult like splashes of color, which I really like. And then I have this MT space infographics. Um space infographics washi tape. And my boyfriend had chosen out this one for me because I've had to choose everything, but he chose this one out for me because he liked this one. He thought it was really cool. So got this one. And this is my first like MT branded tape. I'm gonna leave that over there for journaling later. Um, and like it's black and it has like little space. It's like little space facts and a little space related doodles. So it's super cute. And these are some like thick rolls too. And besides this one, these are some thick rolls, so you really get a lot for your money. And then I have, I got these tabs, which were $5.50. And I'm going to be using these for my August, um, or for my Hobonichi Evec. I'm going to use these for our tabs, which will be super duper cute. These are by, um, Moan Bear there and then I got these cartoon today um, I can't really read that but here's the brand and there's two sheets in here and they're like reaction stickers which I really really like so these are 350 so I got this sheet um, and then this one's just cute and this one's 350 and these are like puffy little gel stickers which I love the texture of so I got these and they're really cute bears all right that was all for the Omoi store haul and then I also went to Ikea to get some ooh, some stuff so I got these white tins and they're 99 cents and I use them for all my markers and I love them they're so useful and they're such nice quality um, I also got a, th a white three-tier rolling cart and the wooden lid for it and if I remember I will put a picture or video on the screen but yeah that's pretty much it for my like week long collective so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!